New York Judge Juan Mershon will be faced with determining an appropriate sentence for Trump on July 11th. What factors should he consider? Punishment is, of course, a primary consideration. Trump was found guilty of 34 felony counts, and like any other convicted defendant, he should be punished for his crimes. That could and probably should include jail time. Deterrence is also a consideration. Trump must be shown that he cannot repeat this conduct, although it is not likely that any punishment will stop him. Likewise, the sentence should be severe enough to deter others from committing these crimes. While contrition or rehabilitation might have been factors, Trump has not been contrite in any way. To the contrary, he attacked the judge, the judge's staff, the prosecutors, the witnesses, and the jurors. He called it all a sham and a witch hunt, and he is not likely to be contrite at any point, regardless of the result of the appeal he said he would file. The threats of violence that Trump has made should not be considered at all. Steps should be taken to deal with and prosecute any threats or violence by Trump or his followers to the fullest extent of the law. Trump's failed presidency, his failed 2020 campaign, and the fact that he is now again campaigning should be of no consequence in determining the sentence. As we have all said, Trump is not above the law and should not be permitted to get away with what he has done. We all saw that Judge Mershon was thoughtful and more than fair in dealing with Trump's outrageous behavior during the trial, and we have every confidence that the judge will do the right thing for Trump, for the justice system, and for the country. Stay tuned for July 11th, an important day, one which is likely to somehow affect all of us.